What's up guys, it's Sammy Cheese here, back with another video, and on today's video, I was showing you guys how to make a Halloween slash catch the candy game on scratch. I'll put a preview on screen of what we will be making today. As you can see that you have to collect the good candy and avoid the bad candy. There's a score and a high score. It's pretty simple, I will be walking you through everything, so let's get started. Alright guys, first thing we're going to do is go into press this create button up top, then delete the scratch cat. First thing we will be working on is the bag. So if you go down to this little cat and press the little paint button, if you zoom in a little bit, you find a nice orange on this color picker. So for example, this orange, you can adjust all these settings until you find a good color. So there's also an outline. I'm going to have an outline of 10 and there's a bunch of tools you can use. I'm just going to use the circle tool for a bag. So I'm going to make sort of an oval shape adjust the size and stuff until I get something I like. I'll just put a time lapse of me making this bag. All right, once you're done with your bag, just call this right bag. As you can see, there's a sprite little name thing right here. Next one I do is click code and we are going to do a few things first thing you want to do is go to sounds press the little trash can on the pop sound go down to this little volume thing go to the search button and search in cave next one you want to do is just click on it and it should pop up i'll just go to code and let's start coding first thing you want to do is go to events one green flag clicked looks set size to 100 then go to motion go to x zero y negative 142 put that there go to events forever block go to sound go to play sound cave until done this is our first script and all it does is play the sound and it just tells it where to go so if i start the game you'll see what happens as you saw the pumpkin just moved and the sound started now you want to do is go to variables make a variable click this little cloud variable checkbox make a variable call it high score You'll get this little pop-up, that's fine. Just press the X, make another variable, call this one score, and just press OK. Next thing we're gonna do is make the pumpkin move. So what you wanna do is you want to go to events, one green flag clicked, control forever, if then, grab two of these if then blocks, go to sensing, go to key, grab the two of these key space press, change one to right arrow by clicking on this little arrow, and change the other one to left arrow. Next, what we want to do is just drag these into the if them blocks, drag the forever loop on the green flag, and drag the top of the if them block into the forever loop. Next thing you want to do is go to motion, go to change x by, grab two of these blocks, put one is seven, and the other one is negative seven. Put the negative seven one in the left arrow key press, and put the change x by seven in the right arrow key press. Then what you want to do is you want to go to control if them block, put that there. Go to variables, go to set high score to in the if then loop, go to score, then go to operators, then go to one of these blocks, put that in there, then you want to go to variables, and what we're going to say is if score is bigger than high score, then set high score to score. So if you drag your block out, this is what it should look like. If it doesn't, and if it's in this block like this, just drag it out and put it on the bottom of it, and then drag it back in. We are officially done with our pumpkin slash bag sprite, whatever you want to call it. Next thing you want to do is go to the little scratch cat, go to paint, and for now, all we're going to do is just draw a little circle. So if you go to your circle tool, and you see all this stuff, just go to outline, check that line box, and then go to fill, make sure that you're making a fill. So as you can see, that's nice blue. If you hold shift, you can get a perfect circle, and this will be our candy for now. We will change it later. Oh, and one thing to mention. If you go to this pointer tool right here and you click on your sprite, you can actually move it to the middle and it will lock on like you see. Make sure everything is locked on. So I'm just going to lock this on and I'm going to go lock my bag on. So to lock your bag on, put your mouse right here and start clicking from all the way up here. Select everything and then just drag it to the middle just like that. And if you see that your pumpkin bag is touching the actual bottom of the stage or whatever you want to call it, you can select the whole thing and just grab this little squishing tool and just squish your pumpkin a little bit. Select it all again and just drag it on that snapping lock tool. Now let's get on coding the candy. First thing you want to do is rename this right to candy. Then go to code. What you want to do is you want to go to events, one green flag clicked, grab a forever loop, 
And then you want to grab a weight one second block, go to operators, weight, pick random, change this to 0 0.5 to 1, and then go to events, scroll all the way down until you get to this, create clone of myself, and put that there. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to looks, put a hide block, then go to variables, and go to set, change this to score to 0. That's our first script done. Next thing you want to do is go to backdrops, just click on it right here, go to backdrops, click on the choose a backdrop button, then what you want to look up is you want to look up woods, just like that. So just select the first result, which is going to be this. Next what we're just going to do a little bit of editing. So you see this little one right here? If you actually click on this little spot, you can stretch it out. You want to stretch it out past the actual ground, so just like this. Next thing you want it to be this exact color. Make sure you still have the selected, then go to fill. The first one should be 14, and you want to change the next one to 57. So drag this letter down until you see saturation 57. Next thing you want to do is bring the brightness up to 59. So that is 59. So perfect, now you have finished editing the backdrop. Now all you want to do is go to click on candy, then go back to code. Then go to control, grab a when I start as a clone block. Go to motion, go to change y by negative 3, just leave that there for now. Then grab a go to x block and put that on top. Then go to operators, go to pick random and put this in the x law. Make the first one negative 240, make the next one 240. Make the y 180. Go to looks, grab a show block and put that right there. Then go to events and grab a forever loop. Make sure you move your show block up there and grab the change y by and put that in the forever loop. So now your code should look like this. Then you want to grab a if then block and put that in there and go to sensing, go to touching color and put that in there. Click on the color and then click on this little eyedropper tool. Next you'll see this will light up. Go all the way to the bottom where we have our new color for our backdrop and just click on it. Now just click away from it and it should be good. Next thing you want to do is just go to control and just delete that clone and just put that there. And then you want to grab a if then block and put that there on the bottom of it. So now your code should look something like this. Go to sensing, if touching, change this to if touching, bag, then go to variables, change, change this to score by one, then go to control, delete this clone. Then what you want to do is just drag this up onto here, and you should be good. So now if we test out our game, as you can see it's working completely fine, and I can collect the candy and my score will go up. So this is a fully functional game, and as you can see, the candy disappears if it hits the ground. But if you want to add a little more, like a bad candy or something, or make the candy change different colors, I'll show you how to do that in a second. If you want to make a bad candy, then just right click on the sprite and press duplicate. All you want to do is just call this bad candy. And you can change the candy sprites to like red or something, I don't know, I'll make mine red. Then you just want to go back into code, change this wait 1, 2, 3 seconds, create clone of myself. Then what you want to do is you want to do, if touching bag, change score by minus 3. Now if we test our game by hitting the green flag, as you can see the candy begins to fall and our score changes. But if we touch the red candy, our score subtracts by 3. So make sure to avoid that candy. If you want to add sound effects, just stop your project, make sure you're on the bad candy sprite, go to sounds, go to choose a sound, and look up crunch. This one should pop up and just click on it, and then just go to code, go to sound, go to start sound crunch, if touching bag. Make sure you put it under the change score by negative three and above the delete this clone. Then you want to go to the candy sprite, and go to sounds, click on the sound button again, and look up coin. Just select the first result, go to code, go to start sound coin. Again, put it below the change score by one, but above the delete this clone. Now, if we test out our game, we will have sound effects. Also, if you want to change the colors of the candy as they fall, all you gotta do is just right click and press duplicate on this one blue candy, and you can change the candy to any color you want. So for example, I will have this color candy, and then I will have some yellow candy. Once you're done, as you can see, I have three different candies. Just go to code, then go to looks, go to switch costume to, go to operators, go to pick random, one, two, how many costumes you have, or how many candies you have. So if I go to costumes, as you can see, I have three pieces of candy. So if you have like 20, you, you would want to change the end to 20. 
since I only have three, I'm just gonna change it to three. Then you just wanna drag it above this forever block. So below the go to X block or whatever you wanna call it. Now, if we test our game, we should have sound effects and random candy. So if I hit the green flag, as you can see, I can move around fine. And there's different colors of candy falling now. So that's pretty cool. So as you can see, I've got the yellow one. I've got the like cyan one. I've got the blue one, the yellow one. It looks really cool. So if I hit the red one, I just lose three score. As you can see, there's a high score that anyone can beat. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.